it's Wednesday, January 17th. It's 5.30 a.m. Uh, <clears throat> in all actuality, I'll probably be just going to sleep right now. I'm going to lay out my typical work week if I was up and running and back to work. <clears throat> uh, I'll probably do therapy from like either 8 to 4 or like 6 to something or as early as I could to, uh, to like noon. And then I would leave there and then I, if, it depending on how many businesses I set up after going back to work in a particular amount of time, I'm in the third year. I'm in the fourth year, but it's been three years since I graduated. And I've been dealing with this stuff, harassment and stuff, so. <clears throat> so I leave uh, wherever I'm doing therapy at, and then I probably do a route like check on my landscape crew, check on my hardscape crew, check on my contracting crew, and then check on like the uh, fitness and health places like around wherever I set up. And then I go to the uh, art studio and then probably like bust out whatever I'm working on there. And that's like the hub for everything. And then I, because most tattoo studios in, around the world close at like 2 a.m. But see, I'm just like, that's why I had the night hour early bird joint. Cause it's like, I probably work beyond that. I'll probably still be at like the desk, like how I'm here, like you see and stuff like that. Working until like five, four, and then sleep for a couple minutes and then get back up and do it all again. And then on the weekends, like, you know what I mean? I'll probably go to like a hard escape job in the morning, a aqua escape job where I, I'll probably be more hands on since I ain't got that th therapy in the morning. And I'll probably like help the crew and do more like that landscaping, whatever, whatever. And then after whatever time I leave as, as the owner, <laughs> operator, whatever time I leave one of them jobs and leave the trusted crew to do what they do. I go again to the uh, tattoo studio and chill there, probably, you know what I mean? And then I got a certain point, and it's like, I don't even know if I would have a house at home, because I would just be there all day, like, fall asleep on the futon, you know what I mean? And like I said, I got the pool table, I got the uh, projector screen, I got the video game, I got different things for marketing and promotion to bring in the foot traffic, I got the DJ equipment, I got different projects I want to work on from there, like, developing a video game, developing different uh, other things that I've demonstrated and talked about doing early on, but I really haven't because I'm in this stop and go this whole time and it's like year through and like right now I'm dealing with the legal. I'm dealing with the legal. Like I said, you only ain't even seen a lot of what you haven't seen what I have. This is real time like systems, dumb stuff pointing to like the what they gotta see to investigate. Like, all right, somebody's really attacking this guy. So